Welcome to Westchester Borough in Chester County, Pennsylvania. If you're looking for a great place to live, this is the place. This community has been awarded so many accolades over the years. One of the best cities to live in Pennsylvania, one of the best places to retire in Pennsylvania, one of the best places to raise a family in Pennsylvania. It's been on, it was uh, given the Great American Main Street Award not too long ago. Just plain a great town. It's got a small town feel with a young vibe because they have a university here, Westchester University. It's one of the six state universities in Pennsylvania. They have about 14,000 students there. So you add that to the um, residents of Westchester Borough, there are about 20,000 of those. Um, makes, for a, makes for a lot going on here. Um, so I'm standing today in front of one of the oldest buildings here. It was built in 1846. Currently, it's the courthouse. And at the top, there's a clock tower that was put up there. And rumor has it that the clock tower has gone off every hour since 1836 when it was installed. Every hour on the hour, the bell tolls. And interestingly enough, recently the clocks were changed. And the, there was a lot of uh, commotion about changing the clocks on the clock tower because the, the, the tower, the, there are four clocks up there and they all needed to be changed. And apparently it was quite an effort. So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna walk the streets. I'm gonna share uh, a couple of different price points within the borough. And my goal is to show you what it would be like to live here in Westchester Borough. And if you stick around to the end, I have, I'm gonna share with you something that made Westchester Borough famous across the world back in the, H, back in the 1940s. So stay tuned. Let's go off and see the first set of properties. So here's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of communities to share with you uh, three different price points for housing here in the borough. And my goal is to show you what it's like to actually live here. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to tell you how and why Westchester Borough became famous back in the 1940s, famous across the world. Okay, so let's go. So the, the borough of Westchester is very old and it's historical. There are quite a few um, buildings that are on the historical register here. The town is about 25 miles west of Philadelphia, and uh, which is about an hour's drive. It's about 17 miles to Delaware, the state of Delaware, and that's about a 35 minute drive. Or you could take public transit. Uh, public transit on the train is about an hour and a half from here. Uh, and that'll take you right down a suburban station in Philadelphia. Uh, the Brandywine Valley is known for its beautiful farmland. So surrounding this borough is a beautiful countryside with miles and miles of bike trails and parks. Uh, the borough, it has a small town charm, but a young, vibrant vibe. The, this, the uh, being in a college town is pretty cool. There's a lot of activity going on here. Uh, a lot of good nightlife. Uh, the population here is about 20,000. And then the school has another uh, 17,000 or so students. So you have quite a mix of people. It has a high walkability score here. The, uh, there are 65 stores, businesses, restaurants, bars, convenience stores, pharmacies, farmers markets. There's all kinds of shops here within, there's six, over 65 of them within just a few blocks. So it's very, I got a very high walkability score. And if you like to shop in a mall type setting, 
It's only about 20 minutes to the King of Prussia Mall, which is a famous mall. It's very large. More than 400 stores are located there. The school district is uh, ranked very high. It's, an, it's got an A-plus rating through Niche.com, which is uh, one of the larger companies that scores that scores school district. It's in the top 5% of all the school districts in the state, as a matter of fact. Isn't this a beautiful town? It's very cute, very quaint. The single family median sale price here is $572,500. And the median household incomes, $114,837. The median rent is $1,626. So let's head off to some neighborhoods. So today we're gonna to be looking at three properties. This is the first of the three. It's the most economically priced neighborhood uh, in Westchester Borough. It's a single family home, three bedrooms, one and a half baths. It's about 1,240 square feet. The taxes are $2,470. And it's settled for $330,000. Uh, there weren't very many homes for sale currently in this borough, so we're going to be looking at all sold properties uh, today. And this one is the first of three. So here we are at home number two. This is a mid-priced neighborhood in Westchester Borough. Uh, this particular home sold for $600,000 uh, just recently. Uh, we're in a neighborhood of single family homes. As you can see here, this is a four bedroom, two bath home, 2,140 square feet. Uh, it was built in 1900. So the taxes are $4,689. And uh, it's three stories high. And it sits on a lot that is 0.11 acres. There you have it. We are in the borough, so it's... Uh, pretty noisy here. Now we'll head off to the third and final property. So now we're at our third and final house for today. We are actually in the park across the street from the house. So let's take a walk up and we'll take a look. I'll show you this is in the higher end neighborhood in Westchester Borough. Um, the house is historic. It's not on the register but it is a historical home. It was built in uh, 1890. And it sold recently for 1.1234 million. Um, it's five bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,829 square feet, and has a beautiful view of the park across the street. The taxes are $8,612 a year. And it sits on a lot that is 0.29 acres, so just under a third of an acre. The house was actually listed for 995000 and it sold in only two days, again for $1.1234 million. And that's it. Now I have a surprise for you. I'm going to take you to... Uh, a place that was made famous back in 1943. Uh, people around the world knew of this place in Westchester Borough. So let's hop in the car and I'll take you over. Okay, so now we're in the heart of the borough once again. And we're going to take a little walk down to the corner here. And I'm going to point out this building. 
You might wonder, why is she showing me this building? Take a look at the building. It's a beautiful building. What you see here, a guy by the name of Raymond Retu, a Westchester chemist, he was actually famous because he pioneered the mass production of penicillin, the world's first antibiotic. He, in connection with Wyatt Laboratories, had his lab in this building that you see here. It used to be an auto body repair shop back in the 1940s. And he made and sent more penicillin to the armed forces around the world than any other lab in the world, saving countless lives on the battlefields of World War II. And of course, his auto repair shop is long gone, but it was on this site here that he had his auto body shop and he figured out as a scientist to develop mass production of penicillin. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope you enjoyed the video today and you learned a little bit about Westchester Borough. And if you're thinking of buying or selling in Westchester or at Philadelphia and suburbs, please pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, or hop on my calendar for a Zoom call. And I would be happy to help you make a smooth move to Philadelphia or Westchester or other suburbs. Thanks for watching.